never thought I would see the day where we get brand new Light Sworn support. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Avery. We just woke up and uh, our homie Valley D said, yo, these new Light Sworn cards are broken. And I'm like, well, you can at least say good morning, scamp. But yeah, he, he just had to let me know that there's new Light Sworn cards. So uh, let's just dive on into this. I'm going to react to these new cards live because even though I just woke up, I'm actually really excited to see what these cards are. What does Light Sworn not need at this point? Uh, also, side note, YGO Organization redesigned their whole website and it's even worse now. So I apologize again for all the ads. YGO Organization, you gotta, you gotta figure that shit out. So let's see, come with me in the twilight of a summer night for a while. Okay. Uh, this is Dragoon of, okay, so Dragon of Light Sworn. Okay. So it's a level four light dragon effect monster, 1500 attack, 1300 defense. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you have a light sworn monster in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's hot. If this card is special summoned, you can send a light sworn card from your deck to the graveyard, except dragon light sworn. What? Okay. If this card's sent to the graveyard, you can add a dragon monster with 3000 attack, 2600 defense from your deck to your hand. Jesus Christ, this adds you judgment dragon. Wow. Okay, so they've given the deck a way to add Judgment Dragon straight to the hand and also Foolish Burial, any Light Sworn card. Not monster, card. That's actually insane. So then we have a Weiss Light Sworn Archfiend. Level 4 Light Fiend Tuner Effect Monster, 0 attack, 1700 defense. You can always the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can place one of the Light Sworn card from your hand on, a, on the top of the deck. Special summon this card from your hand, then send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Okay. If this card's sent from the deck to the graveyard, you can target a Light Sworn monster in your graveyard, except Weiss. Special summon it. So, it's like a uh, wolf effect, but a little bit better. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is Enlightenment Dragon. Whoa. Level 10 Light Dragon Fusion Effect Monster, 3000 attack and defense. Judgment Dragon plus Punishment Dragon. Wow, okay. So it must be special summoned by banishing the above cards from your field and graveyard, one from each. Once per turn, quick effect, you can pay 2,000 life points, banish all other cards on the field and in the graveyards. What the fuck? What? This thing's Demise King of Armageddon on steroids. Once per turn during the end phase, send the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard. That's fine. If this card's destroyed by your opponent... You can add one each of your Banished Judgment and Punishment Dragon to your hand. Then you could Special Summon both, ignoring their summoning conditions. What? Ho holy ball sacks. What? Yo, this card's insane. Uh, yeah, so uh, they've given you a reason to play Punishment Dragon out. Yo, what was Konami smoking in the dev room when they were designing these cards? Th these are nuts. And, like, the art's actually kind of BA, too. I'm going to be sure to include that in the... Uh... Mm. Ugh, in the thumbnail. Yo, that's broken. Minerva. Uh-oh, Light Sworn Athena. We got a new Minerva. Level 8, Light Fairy Synchro Effect Monster, 2800 attack, 1800 defense, 1 tuner plus 1 or more non tuner monster, so it's generic. You can always the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can send Light Sworn monsters with different types from your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Light Sworn monsters used as a material for this card's summon. Okay. Light Sworn Monsters you control cannot be banished by card effects, I guess. You can banish up to four Light Sworn Monsters from your graveyard. Send that many cards on the top of your deck to the graveyard. Oh, that's right, because I think for Punishment Dragon, you have to have a banished Light Sworns, if I remember correctly. So it helps fulfill that condition. This card seems okay. And then last here, we have Light Sworn Aegis, Normal Trap. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Light Sworn monsters you control and negate their effects at the end of this turn. If this card's sent from the deck to the graveyard, you can set it. Jesus Christ, this card's insane. So, overall, with this new support, assuming that they don't drop more support in the future, like either after Legacy of Destruction or later on with reveals, uh, this stuff is insane. Uh, I think Light Sworn's easily going to be a Tier 1 deck again. Um, will it be tier zero? No, I don't think so. I think we're long past that. But the deck is back at full power. You know, we got three solar recharge, three charge of the light brigade. The only thing that I think could possibly, oh, 
Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I just woke up. The only thing that makes me worried about this deck in 2023, well, once we get Legacy Destruction 2024, is you can't really play hand traps in the deck, right? Because you're milling a bunch. So they haven't given the deck like its own type of hand trap. And this deck also still kind of auto loses to D Shifter, I feel. Assuming D Shifter doesn't get banned by that point when we get these cards. But I'm very excited for new Light Sworn support. Oh my god, this takes me back to the days of 2009. Get my butthole blown out by Charge of the Light Brigade, Judge and Dragon, and everything else. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.